Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to do an oil change on your Kubota RTV. So this is a 2018 Kubota RTV X1120. And any of you that have tried to figure out how to do an oil change on these have probably figured out that they're a real pain. So to do an oil change on these, you're supposed to drop the skid plate on them, which that alone is a task just by itself, especially if it's packed full of mud and dirt. So once you get the skid plate off and you go to remove the drain plug, the oil shoots out of the engine and hits the cross member that goes across from one side of the frame to the other right in front of the engine. So then you've got oil running down from the middle where the engine's at and running out of both ends of the cross member and this thing makes a big mess. So to fix this problem, I ended up using a three inch hole saw and drilled a hole through that skid plate right where the drain plug was at. Now drilling this hole, you do have to be careful to not get up into your engine oil pan. Once I drilled that three inch hole through the skid plate, then I had a small piece of the cross member that was still sticking out over top of the hole that I just cut. I did not drill through that little section of the cross member. Instead, I ended up taking a hammer and beating on that cross member piece to bend it up just a little bit. So now that almost acts as a shield. So when the oil shoots out, it hits that piece of the cross member that I bent up and shoots the oil right down into my pan. So now I no longer have to remove the skid plate and the oil doesn't get inside of the cross member. It comes straight down into my pan. So now it's significantly quicker to do this oil change by not having to remove the skid plate and it doesn't make nearly as big of a mess. Once I've got the engine oil draining, then I go ahead and spin off the old oil filter. There is gonna be a little bit of oil that'll run out of that old oil filter, so I'll usually have some sort of a small pan or cup to stick underneath of that filter as I'm spinning it off to catch that little bit of oil that's gonna run out of there. Then just spin on your new oil filter, put your drain plug back in, dump your engine oil in, you're ready to go. For these engines, I recommend using a 15W40 engine oil. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.